Hey gorgeous and welcome back to Hide My Identity. I'm Nalu Ifoma. Today we have yet another story. This is a story that will still leave you wondering how. It always end up to the point of asking yourself how. How do we let these things get to this point? Because we keep making excuses and excuses. And the more you keep making excuses for some persons, they tend to capitalize on it and ruin your life. So let's go ahead and read this story. <laughs> Hey, analytics has shown that a greater percentage of people who watch our videos are not subscribed to our channels and some who are subscribed did not turn their notification bell on. I am just urging you to please do well to subscribe to our channel, like our videos, make sure you share your thoughts in the comment section and also share them. This way, YouTube will be able to take it to the larger audience and let people know that hmm, there is something you know powerful happening on this channel. Thank you. I dated this guy for four years going to five years i started dating at 21 years old and i lost my own will so a girl of 21 years old who just left teenage age and entered into adulthood and started dating um i feel at that point it depends on also depend on where you are being raised from but i feel at that point your mind is still not yet functioning properly as one who is supposed to be in a relationship but let's let's drive further it started out perfect but along the way he started insulting me he would insult and then i'll make him say sorry sometimes i say sorry for very stupid reasons these continued for years and i didn't know they were telling on my health I started losing weight, having depression. I didn't spend his money. I willingly took us out on dates and gave him my pin to make it look like, you know, it's him that is paying. I didn't want him to feel out of place. Do you know that this guy was double dating? I had no idea he was double dating. I only had to go to find out after he left for the UK. I spoke to the woman he was cheating on me with and she sent me proof. He denied it, of course, until I sent him videos. Do you know that his family knew about her? Family that I spent on to be a good girlfriend. Instead of him to apologize, he told me to go and have fun talking with her. So I am one person who is key on relationships. I'm one person who knows that we are all relational beings and we can't do life alone. And for that reason, we need other people in our life. When it comes to um, living a life of quality, color and grace. And sometimes people can choose to live a life of a life that is dull, colorless, frustrating. Um, it's just left for you to make a choice. In this young lady's situation, there's something she did that for me, I felt it was not really making sense. You know, whenever you, get, you begin to get to that point of losing yourself, I feel that is the only sign you need to like, you know, pause. Sometimes it's, it's important to like, you pause the entire relationship, step out of the relationship and analyze that that relationship. And let's say you're not able to do that because you don't even know how to do that. This is where you employ the services of a counselor, a coach, a mentor, someone you look up to. Be open. Let them really help you see your relationship from the lens of an outsider. So it's really important to learn how to take that me time so that you can replay the event that has been happening in the relationship in your head, replay it, tell the story and really, really analyze it to know where you got it all wrong and where you need to work on. But the truth is love is not supposed to make you lose yourself. I will always tell people if it doesn't make me better, girl. I can't be there. If it makes me bitter, worse than I was, then the sole purpose, the whole purpose of getting into it in the first place has been defeated. It's been abused. I can't be living like by myself as a whole person and then get into a relationship that is meant to ruin me, make me worse. It doesn't make any like literal sense. Then another aspect of this is the moment you begin to pay and to make these people feel like you cannot do life without them, you can't live without them, that is the moment you begin to lose yourself. Like imagine, it's like your pain to be in the relationship with a man who is supposed to model masculinity to you through protecting you, preserving you, and um, providing for you. You even went to the point of trying to um, provide for his family. It seems like you were just there to buy everybody. And there's no way you can like have a flourishing relationship where you appear to 
to be desperate we appear to be so nice nice people are sometimes the dumbest because we tend to be taken for granted people tend to take you for granted but if you are able to like if you learned how to erect healthy boundaries you have your non-negotiable standards as a young woman um you will easily sense when things are beginning to go haywire that is just the truth when things begin to go you know in a corny way you can easily easily detect de detect that and lastly i would say is when someone begins to disrespect you honestly there is no point for you to still remain there i know one thing about us women is that we really know how to make excuses for the people we love. But sometimes it's important to be selfish. Be selfish and analyze the, situ the situation for yourself. Know where you placed yourself. Know if you have, you were really just being, you know, a good woman or you are truly being a momo in the situation. So lastly, I'll leave you with this. Once you begin to see a man treat you badly, um, I don't care. I personally do not care where this relationship has gotten to the extent of it especially if you have given grace and grace and grace and grace at the point you just have to like really take care of yourself and one of the easiest ways sometimes to really relax in your femininity is to end a toxic relationship especially a relationship where you are no longer getting better you're rather getting worse and mind you i will always tell women this that women let men treat them the way they treat you so the way you see a man treats you that's the way you allowed him to do that so i actually had a similar situation here in china about a young lady who had this guy in her life and all he does is to take take and take and take from her they are dating and all this guy does is to make sure that he keeps collecting money from her he keeps making her pay his bills and the only thing i had to tell the young lady in that situation is just end the relationship because this guy has seen you as a cash cow as some want to prey on and in her words he is terribly lazy he doesn't want to work and he has no vision he's not pursuing none of his vision and he just is now milking you it doesn't make any literal sense i know it's there's a place for you to of course support your man but this is this is this is sheer foolishness from your end if you keep footing the bills of somebody who has no plans and nothing to do with their own lives so at this point, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to our channel. Do not forget to like. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. In this situation, in a scenario like this, where she has, the first lady has already found out that her man was actually cheating. He was double dating. And when she confronted him with it, he was like, have fun. Have fun um, contacting the other lady. Um, I don't think she actually needed an advice. All she just needed was, um, all she currently need now is so much prayer, healing, therapy and self-focus because he has done her so much harm to the point of you financially supporting this guy and also like financially supporting his family it seems as though you're buying everybody and to him it appears as though you have been desperate so um i think that's the much you can take on this particular topic today do not forget, like I said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you have a similar story, do well to also share with us in the comment section. And don't forget to share. Please share this to as many as those you can reach. And um, check our, our, um, our page for so many other videos. We have so many other episodes on Hide My Identity and also episodes on the Christian Girl Vibe Live. So until next time, stay safe, stay blessed, and know that Jesus is coming soon. Bye-bye. Stay healthy, yeah. Take care of yourself. You come first. You really come first. Bye-bye.